Hello everyone and welcome to David's and Tamara's vlog and in today's video we wanted to show you how to make Banyalučki chevap. We did a lot of research and we found the best recipe for you. So in this video we want to show you how easy it is to make chevaps wherever you live. You will find all the spices that you need and the meat and I hope that you enjoy this video. Please share, like and sus subscribe to our video channel and all the informations that you need are down below and in our blog. So let's crack on. You will need about 500 grams of freshly ground beef with at least 20% fat, 2 to 3 garlic cloves, 100 milliliters of water, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 or half a teaspoon of black pepper depending on your taste, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. First, put 100 milliliters of water into a small saucepan, chop the garlic and add it to the water. Bring to the boil for 1 to 2 minutes and let it cool. When it's cool, strain through a fine strainer. The next step is to put your ground meat into a mixing bowl, add the salt, pepper and baking soda and mix it well for at least 10 to 15 minutes. When the garlic water is cooled off, then add it to the meat and mix it until you get a nice and doughy sort of consistency. This should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. So you mix the meat until you get a gluey consistency. The meat must be sticky. Cover the bowl and leave it in the fridge for 24 hours or more, but make sure you mix it one or two times during that period. Now it's time to shape your cheva. Mix once more after taking out of the fridge. To shape your cheva into perfect sausages, you can use a freezer bag or a confectioner pipe, whatever you have handy. You can even use a funnel. Make sure you place a little water with your hands on the surface where you will make the chevap so that they don't stick to it. My top tip, don't use oil as they will slip and break. Fill up your funnel, make sure that all the air is squeezed out of the meat and the funnel and start squeezing the meat out. You will see small sausages coming out and when you are happy with the length, they should be about 4 to 5 centimeters long, then you cut them with a sharp knife. Once you are done with the whole meat, then you can wet your hands and top and tail the chevap so that they have even better shape. Once that's completed, it's time to grill the chevap. You can use an electric grill or grill pan or they taste the best if you have a coal grill. I use my grill pan. I brush the pan with some heat resistant oil and make sure it's very hot. The chevap is placed on a grill on both sides for about 5 to 7 minutes depending how thick they are and how you like them cooked. When you turn them over or halfway through cooking them, make sure you place pita bread or naan bread on top of the chevap to get them nice and steamed and also dip them in a little, little bit in the juice that comes out of the chevap. This gives an amazing flavor to the bread. Personally, I like to soak some of the fat from the meat onto the bread and then grill them. And I like them when they're nice and crunchy. When it comes to serving the chevap, we usually serve it lapinha or local flatbread, but you can use pita or naan. We always eat our chevap with sliced onions. I hope that you like this recipe and as I said, it does take a little bit of planning in advance, but you won't regret the hard work, I promise you. So that's how you make the chevap. Please uh, tell us if you like this recipe, if you are going to try it and see you next time. <laughs>